Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna be going over my personal five best stereotypes and transformations in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now, the new mechanic that was revealed in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, terrestrialization of Pokemon means that the Pokemon can change type mid battle or whenever you decide to. That means if it is a flying electric type, it can terrestrialize into a fire type if that's its terror typing. So the options are endless with these Pokemon but there are certain Pokemon I believe that will really flourish in these new games we're gonna go over my five top terror types in this video so starting at the bottom and working up I'm gonna start with number five and that is gonna be Gyarados probably something that you wouldn't really expect me to say straight off the bat but Gyarados obviously is that flying and water type it has a four times weakness to electric attacks and I feel like a terror type into a ground type is probably Probably one of the more beneficial things for Gyarados. It's got the option then to turn from that flying and have the benefit and the water resist and then turn that on its head, go to a ground type. It's got ground stab attacks like Earthquake it can take advantage of as well as that move Terror Blast but it then doesn't have that huge weakness to electric type Pokemon that will wanna come out in front of it on the field, turning the battle on its head. Next up is a Pokemon that we've actually already seen kind of showcased in the trailers for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and that is Tyranitar, the dark and rock type, one of my all time favorite Pokemon, and also the fact that it can Terra type into a ghost type, and it has that horrendous four times weakness to fighting type Pokemon. So in front of a fighting type Pokemon, Pokemon, if you're able to turn yourself into a ghost type and then avoid any incoming damage and get some big damage in return, that is a huge bonus for Tyranitar to take advantage of. And again, is a good example of how terrestrialization is going to be able to turn the tables on battles in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The next one I want to talk about is another favorite Pokemon of mine, and that is a Bomber Snow. It is a grass and ice typing, and I do feel like personally, ice types are going to really benefit probably more than a lot of other types in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet because their typing is pretty bad defensively. They don't have many resists, they're weak to a bunch of common attacking Pokemon. So being able to change their type when if you want is gonna be a huge advantage to these Pokemon. A Bomber Snow in general, another Pokemon with a big four times weakness to fire types, and it's gonna be able to change its typing and really turn the tables, becoming a fire type itself. And by doing that, it means it's gonna resist the incoming fire type attacks and be able to do damage to things that really threaten it like those steel types like scissor and things like that and talking about scissor scissor is another pokemon that only has really one weakness and that is to fire with its bug and its steel typing and another pokemon that would benefit from that fire typing next up and in at number two is hydreigon hydreigon one of my all-time favorite pokemon if you hadn't noticed i'm a big fan of dark type pokemon Hydreigon is a dog and a dragon type, and it is an absolute beast of a Pokemon, pseudo legendary, powerful, does a bunch of things, won two world championships, the list goes on. But Hydreigon, since the introduction of the fairy typing, has had a horrendous time. And I feel like Hydreigon is going to be a classic example of a Pokemon that's going to really thrive with the terrestrialization in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And the best typing, in my opinion, for Hydreigon is going to be that steel typing. There's a few reasons here. It not only resists fairy typing, but Hydreigon has the ability levitate. It means it's immune to ground type attacks. So it can turn into a steel type and not need to worry about that weakness. So another added bonus, making Hydreigon probably one of the choice terror types and definitely with that steel typing for players in Scarlet and Violet. Now coming in at number one, this might surprise you a little bit because it surprised me a little bit, but the more I looked at it, the more it made a lot more sense. And the best Pokemon, in my opinion, going into Scarlet and Violet right now for the terror typing terrestrialization is actually Rotom. Rotom Wash, Rotom Heat, Rotom Maw, Rotom Freeze. They're all gonna benefit from this Terra transformation. The fact that we've already talked about Levitate on Hydreigon is a big plus for Rotom. It's also got the ability Levitate. 
It's an electric type, it's part electric, so it has that immunity to ground anyway. But if you make it into a pure electric type attacking Pokemon, then it has basically no weakness at all. It has the Levitate, its only weakness is ground. It's immune to ground type attacks with Levitate, so it has no weaknesses. And it still has access to Terra Blast, and depending on what form you have, it's gonna have access to stuff like Hydro Pump, like Overheat, like Leaf Storm and Blizzard. So it's still gonna have those big attacking moves to be able to utilize in games and the coverage but it is gonna have no weakness at all, making it even more difficult for opponents to deal with it. On top of that, you don't need to go for that extra boosted electric type attack, go pure electric, you can go for different types as well. You can go for maybe a pure water type Rotom from a Rotom Heat, potentially. That would be huge. The other thing to consider is the move Terra Blast as well. It gives Rotom an option. If you wanna go down a pure water type route, you don't need to rely anymore on Hydro Pump. You can just terrestrialize and then use Terra Blast, which will be a water type attack if your Terraform is water. And then you don't need to rely on the shaky accuracy of maybe those higher power moves like Hydro Pump, Overheat, Leaf Storm, and Blizzard, which we've all talked about before. But I do feel like Rotom at the moment is my top pick for terrestrialization. And it does feel like the possibilities with this one Pokemon are pretty endless right now. The other option is turning into a pure ghost type. Rotom obviously in its pre-evolved state is part electric, part ghost, so you can get the ghost. It's got ghost stab attacks that it can access in its move pool as well, so a lot of options there. And Rotom feels like a very good choice going forward in the new competitive scene. So these are what I think will be the best terror types going into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But what do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on your best terror types going into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So if you found this video useful you'll definitely want to check out this video right here which goes into detail about that brand new move that we briefly talked about in this video Terra Blast and how impactful it will be in the new format competitively in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet thank you so much for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day and until the next one I'll see you later till then bye bye